Up next, we've got entertainment for you here on Breakfast Central. Many thanks for watching. Now it's getting to that time of the year where we'll be seeing so many shows and award ceremonies in the entertainment scene. And it seems some people are already bagging some awards for themselves. Well, we have Gabby from our entertainment desk to tell us more on what's happening. What's the latest in entertainment, Gabby? And good morning, um, Olichi. Good morning, Joe. Yes, you are right. I thought There's you were so going to say Olisa. <laughs> no, I would not make that mistake. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, so um, I'm going straight into the stories. First of all, starting off in the Gold Coast, the just concluded sixth edition of the prestigious exclusive Men of the Year Africa Awards um, held in Accra, Ghana, and that was on Saturday. A total of 25 men and women were given awards. One of these individuals, a Ghanaian business mogul, Ibrahim Mahama, who emerged as the business magnate of the year. Then we also had Stone Boy, who received the Music Man of the Year Award. Then there was Nigeria's Ebuka Obi Uchendu, who was recognized for his unique and appealing sense of style with a Man of Style Award, and Ghanaian YouTuber Wode Maya, who received the Discovery of the Year Award. Other awardees include Chief Executive Officer of the Medan Group and Vodafone um, Ghana, Daniel McCauley, and Patricia Obonai, who were adjudged the 2021 Man and Woman of the Year, respectively. The event had stage performances from Fame, Edina, and the legendary Ahmad Zeba. Congratulations to everyone who was nominated and to everyone who won this award. Let's take a look at this clip. So that's it from the EMI Awards. Now we're moving to another news where after his just concluded purple tour in the US, Nigerian Afropop singer Stanley Omar Dia, popular Didia, sorry, popularly known as Omar Lee, is set for a live performance in Kenya on October 30, 2021. Now the organizers posted this on their social media platform to announce dates and venue. In his words, Yo, what's up, Kenya? This is Omale, and I'm going to be performing live at the Pizza and Wine Festival on the 30th of October. So come on out, come out with your friends, come let's have fun, all right? This year's edition of the Pizza and Wine Festival takes place on October 30 and 31st, 2021 in Kenya. Other Kenyan acts lined up to grace the event include Ben So, Karun, Nikki Tekering, um, Chris Kega, um, Mviri, the storyteller, and Kahush, and more acts to be announced at the event. We recall that Omar Lay's visit um, comes barely a year after he was arrested in Uganda for reportedly performing at an event despite a ban to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Now, luckily, fans can have an absolutely amazing time out at the festival as the ban on nightlife in Kenya was lifted only a few days ago. This is because the coronavirus cases have begun to ease in the country. And now to news um, um, on the news concerning our movies. Filmmakers and enthusiasts from across the globe gathered in Burkina Faso for the 2021 Pan-African Film and Television Festival at Ouagadougou, which wrapped up on Saturday, October 23rd. The festival, which holds every two years, was originally slated for February, but was delayed due to COVID-19 restrictions and the crippling security conditions in the country. 239 films of 1,132 1, entries from 50 countries were shortlisted for this year's festival themed Cinemas of Africa and the Diaspora, New Perspectives, New Challenges, out of which 17 feature films battled for the highly coveted Golden Stallion of the Nenga Grand Prize. In the competition were directors from Egypt, Angola, Burkina Faso, Namibia, Nigeria, Rwanda, Senegal, Somalia, Tanzania, and many other African countries. In the documentary category, 15 films competed for the prize. Each category was awarded first, second, and third place winners with a cash prize. The Grave Digger's wife from Somali, director Ahmad Kada, 
um, grabbed the coveted Golden Stallion of the Enenga Award for Best Picture on Saturday night. For second place, which is Best Picture Silver Stallion Award, Jessica Genius of Haiti won work of Freda. Third place went to Tunisian director Leila Bouzia for A Tale of Love and Desire. Other wins include the Best Actor Award, which went to Alison C for his role in Nafi's Father, directed by Mamadou Dia. Zainab Ja also won Best Actress for her role in Farewell Armor by Tanzanian director Ekwa Masingi. And so that's all the story we have for you. All Quite right. interesting. Quite interesting. I, th I think for me, I'm, I'm more excited about the EMY Awards. Uh, they are looking good. I mean, taking a look at men and other people who have done mm. something fantastic for themselves. Yeah. Uh, July, so right. I knew you were going right. to say that. It's I, I'm right. looking forward to the, to the wine and pizza festival. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would be mm -hmm. watching them virtually. I'll be sipping my wine and a slice <laughs> of pizza. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, As, I need to try that mm. more. Mm -hmm.